In this video, I'm gonna share my simple trading plan, including my full analysis, entries, profit targets, no matter if the market goes up or down here on US 30. And stay tuned because you're gonna learn so much from this video. Um, it was actually a struggle to even make this today, especially because um, I'm getting over this cold, so I didn't even know if I was gonna do it. But um, hanging in there, uh, providing this value to you 100% for free, so make sure you stick around. You're definitely going to learn a lot in this video. So let's go ahead and look at US 30 starting on a weekly time frame. We can see very obviously that there is a huge bullish engulfing candle right here. Um, price just took off this past week. Wow, over a thousand points, 1100 points, insane. So let's go ahead and try to make sense of some of this, especially because the price action last week, or at least when we did the analysis in the previous week, wasn't all that clean. Um, so hopefully when we made sense of that, you were able to take that information and capitalize from the markets uh, based on your own trading, your trading plan, all of that. So anyway, so this is just basically how I do my analysis. So I'm going to start by marking off some levels. The first level for me, obviously, is going to be around 40,690, mainly because this is um, the, it's a really high level in the market. It's not the highest level in the market. Um, and I also want to mark off the highest level in the market, which is basically 41,380 level. And then I also want to mark off another level, which is right here at 39,333. Now, when we go down to lower time frames, we're going to make some adjustments on this. So, um, it's all good. Let me actually move this over just a little bit. And then I do want to mark off another level here on the weekly time frame. Um, this level, it's a little tricky. Okay, this level at 38,392. We're going to get a bit more refined on lower time frames, but I like this because this formed a nice support and then price pushed up. Right here, this is a nice support, mainly because we have all of these rejections right here. We also have a bearish and a bullish candle together that is also a support. And then we have a really nice clean rejection from this exact point with this candle right here. Uh, not this past week, obviously, but the week prior. So let's go ahead and go down to the daily time frame and adjust our levels. Let me zoom in. All right. So basically what I see so far, things are looking pretty clean in a few areas, may have to touch up a few other areas. So one level that I am seeing is something, something's going on right here, but I don't necessarily want to mark it off yet on the daily time frame. I do want to look at it on lower time frames to get more information and see what I possibly need to change. Right here is looking good. This is a really nice support, very clean support, very clean price action from this level. And right here, we also have a lot of rejections. So I definitely want to keep that going. Um, let me see. I want to go down now to the H4 time frame because I'm curious about this level. So let me adjust my levels. Okay, cool. So one of the things that I see, let me get my horizontal, or actually, let me put this a box or make this a box. So anyway, so one thing I see is this level right here, right around 41,000 flat almost. So I see this nice uh, resistance and then I see some rejections. And then if I drag this over backwards then I could see that there was some things happening in the past. Let me explain that. Okay, cool. So what I see right here is a nice rejection from this level with this really big wick right there. Uh, we do have a resistance level, but there's a gap. So basically, even though there's a gap, it's still significant, uh, somewhat significant. And like I said, we have the resistance right here. We have a rejection here. So I definitely want to mark that off, and I'm actually going to extend it this way, uh, mainly because we have current price action in the zone right here. We don't necessarily know what's going to happen next week. So that was a level I wanted to pay some attention to. Another level that I'm seeing here um, is in here. And one other thing that I've noticed on US 30 just in general, I do need to have a few more zones than I probably would on the gold market, mainly because these zones are huge. So you want to have like different zones, mainly so that way you have tradable ranges. And, you know, like this right here, this was marked mainly because at, let's see, this is at 39,000, 
39,900 flat almost. So pretty much because of all these rejections here, and I mean, price is just cutting right through this line, but it did form a support here and rejection. So this looks like a really nice launching point uh, for a price. So that is looking good to me. And then um, I do see another level that I do want to mark off here on US 30. So right around 39,500 and let's just say 40, 40 ish, 50 ish, let's just say 50 ish. It's a nice round number. So and then I want to drag it back just to see how price lines up. Let me move this up a little bit. Okay, wow, okay, I could actually go back further. So basically all I'm doing is just letting the price action tell me where the levels are supposed to be. So I started right here, mainly because we have a nice resistance and we have a whole bunch of rejections in this level, or at this level. We do have this bullish candle right here. It's actually kind of big, but price broke this level and went down. Um, and this is actually a really small range, but I do want to mark it off. And then uh, right here we do have, a, looks like some sort of fake out. And then right here we do have our rejection. So um, this range, let me measure it really quick. Wow, that's like, that's 200 points. That's actually a decent range. It looks really small here on the H4 time frame, but um, as we go down on lower time frames, it'll probably look a lot better. And then we can also make adjustments. So uh, one other thing that I'm seeing here on this particular time frame is I actually want to move this level a little bit further down. So now we have a bigger zone, but I want to move this down mainly because we have the support here. We have all these rejections from this exact level. So this level is 39,250 roughly. So right now it's a nice psychological level, 250 um, ending. So um, that makes sense to me. And then if we look left, we also do see a lot of support and a lot of rejections throughout this entire area. So um, this is actually just more confirmation for me that this is a nice level. And then we have some craziness <laughs> right in here. I don't know if I necessarily want to tackle it on this time frame, but there's one thing that I am seeing right now, just this right here. This is a support level right here at 38,800 and let's just say 30, uh, mainly because we have a bunch of rejections and supports right here. So, and then we have all this really big candle right here, huge candle. When did, that was like three o'clock in the morning, my time. So I was asleep. But anyway, if you uh, caught this, then amazing. But anyway, let's go down to H2 and let's see if we can make sense of some of these levels. Let's go back to the top. And this is all looking good to me so far. This is looking kind of weird. So let me see if I drag this level down. Oops, drag this down, see how it'll look. Yeah, um, looking at this level and dragging it down to 39,830 roughly makes a lot more sense because we do have two supports here. And right here, we do have a resistance here. And then if we scroll over to the left, we do have some rejections here. So it just makes sense to me to have that right there. And then, okay, so going back to this, this is something that we adjusted on the last time frame, but I'm thinking about adjusting it even more. Um, this is super choppy price action, so it's a little bit challenging. So let me just play around with the level and see what I like. Okay, this is actually looking a lot more clean here at 39,594, uh, really closer to 39,600. Flat, uh, especially we got this candle doing something right there. Let's look left. Oh, and it's right at the top of this rejection or this uh, resistance. And then here is a rejection right there. So I'm actually feeling a lot more comfortable with this level right now. Looking at this, this looks good. And then if we scroll over to the left, we can uh, move this down actually just a little bit. So that way it is at roughly at. 38,350, so really nice level. Let's go down to H1 and see what that looks like. Let's reset our views, scoot in a lot. So we can see all the price action. US 30 has some insane moves. So, okay, that looks good. This is still looking good to me. This is where price, right here is where price action currently is. And that's looking good. And we adjusted some levels in here. These are still looking really good, actually. Especially this right here. This looks really good. And, oops, what just happened there? 
Oh, I see. I need to lock my aspect ratio. Okay, so that way when I scroll over, um, it doesn't move around. So, okay, this is still looking really good right here. Okay, so all of these levels are, yeah, this is, let's see, this probably could be moved down. Yeah, let's just do that. 38,300 roughly. That looks good to me. Okay, great. So now let's go back to where current price action is. So it's right here. And what I want to do is start talking about my game plan for the upcoming week. But before we talk about that, 54 easy tips to eliminate fear and take profitable trades. If you haven't downloaded this, you're missing out. Just fill out this easy form and then hit the download now button. Check your inbox and then you will have this document there. There are so many amazing tips. I got so much good feedback from a lot of people who've already downloaded it. So you can find the link for this in the description box below. All right, so going back to the game plan for this upcoming week, so one thing that I see right off the bat is basically I do want to mark off this minor support level right here at 40,000 for 420, uh, mainly because uh, the way US 30 moves, it moves a bit differently than a lot of other things, but uh, generally, um, as you can see, price is in an uptrend. So I only want to really prioritize buys. But um, there's opportunities for short-term sales, and that's why another reason why I like to have these zones, so that way it's easy for me to determine when I could possibly take a short if I just want to. But I'm prioritizing buys. So one of the things that's really easy for me is if price goes up above this level here, then I definitely want to see buys. Uh, probably, let me mark this up. So pretty much uh, up to here would be a really nice uh, take profit level, especially at 320 points, which is amazing. Um, if price does go up above here, then I see price possibly uh, looking to retest this level right here. So let's see what that zone looks like. Okay, so 150, that's, that's actually really decent. Um, so another thing that I would be uh, looking for is I would be looking for price. I want to see what price does here. So possibly price coming down here and then coming back to retest this high right here. So let's see what this range looks like. It looks like a decent range, but I still like to measure. Yeah, 275. Yeah, cake. Okay, cool. So that's a really cool range. And then let's just say if I was interested in taking some short-term sales, then I would be interested in taking some short-term sales definitely below this level, but not necessarily, you know, it hits below here and then ready to sell. Um, more so uh, right below this really big wick right here. So this is a, a red line, I guess, since we're talking about sales, we can keep it. So uh, this right here, and as you can see on US 30, it is uh, really difficult to see price action because there's so much information here. But let's just zoom in just a little bit, uh, especially as we talk about this game plan. So I would want for it to clear this wick before uh, looking at sales and then uh, possibly to like somewhere in this zone. So I would say like right here would be another area that I would be interested in sales. So let's go like this. So from here to here, roughly, that's a really decent range. And probably would wait to see what price would do here, mainly because this is a really nice support level. If we go back in time, we could see that this was a really nice support level and then price bounced up. So um, I would actually be really careful in this area if I'm looking at it real time. But let's just say price has a lot of volume and continue to push down because US 30 tends to do that. Um, then maybe this level would be the next target and then this level. But I don't know if this would be realistic to see this all in one week. But you have to plan for everything, especially in a crazy market like US 30. So this is essentially my game plan for the upcoming week. Very simple, very straightforward. Like I said, the trend is generally up. So I'm mostly looking for buys and hopefully you learn something from this particular charting and good luck in your own trading. And I will see you next time.